a chapter a day to brighten your way. Through Judges, know that you should walk with God. Hello friends, let us read the Bible together. Today we'll be reading Judges chapter 21. After a chaotic civil war, the tribe of Benjamin was almost completely wiped out. The eleven tribes were so angry that they not only defeated Benjamin, but also made an impulsive oath that no woman from any tribe would be allowed to intermarry with the remaining Benjamites, and that their descendants would be exterminated. But after the situation calmed down, they regretted it, and things got even worse. In the culture at the time, oaths were very important, and they believed that breaking an oath would bring down a curse. What should the upset Israelites do now? Let's read chapter 21 together. Judges, chapter 21. Now the men of Israel had sworn at Mitzpah, No one of us shall give his daughter in marriage to Benjamin. And the people came to Bethel and sat there till evening before God, and they lifted up their voices and wept bitterly. And they said, O Lord, the God of Israel, why has this happened in Israel, that today there should be one tribe lacking in Israel? And the next day the people rose early and built there an altar, and offered burnt offerings and peace offerings. And the people of Israel said, Which of all the tribes of Israel did not come up in the assembly to the Lord? For they had taken a great oath concerning him who did not come up to the Lord to Mitzpah, saying, He shall surely be put to death. And the people of Israel had compassion for Benjamin their brother, and said, One tribe is cut off from Israel this day. What shall we do for wives for those who are left, since we have sworn by the Lord that we will not give them any of our daughters for wives? And they said, What one is there of the tribes of Israel that did not come up to the Lord to Mitzpah? And behold, no one had come to the camp from Jabesh Gilead to the assembly. For when the people were mustered, behold, not one of the inhabitants of Jabesh Gilead was there. So the congregation sent twelve thousand of their bravest men there and commanded them, Go and strike the inhabitants of Jabesh Gilead with the edge of the sword, also the women and the little ones. This is what you shall do. Every male and every woman that has lain with a male you shall devote to destruction. And they found among the inhabitants of Jabesh Gilead four hundred young virgins who had not known a man by lying with him, and they brought them to the camp at Shiloh, which is in the land of Canaan. Then the whole congregation sent word to the people of Benjamin who were at the rock of Rimmon and proclaimed peace to them. And Benjamin returned at that time, and they gave them the woman whom they had saved alive of the woman of Jabesh Gilead, but they were not enough for them. And the people had compassion on Benjamin, because the Lord had made a breach in the tribes of Israel. Then the elders of the congregation said, What shall we do for wives for those who are left, since the women are destroyed out of Benjamin? And they said, There must be an inheritance for the survivors of Benjamin, that a tribe not be blotted out from Israel. Yet we cannot give them wives from our daughters. For the people of Israel had sworn, Cursed be he who gives a wife to Benjamin. So they said, Behold, there is the yearly feast of the Lord at Shiloh, which is north of Bethel, on the east of the highway that goes up from Bethel to Shechem and south of Labona. And they commanded the people of Benjamin, saying, Go and lie in ambush in the vineyards and watch. If the daughters of Shiloh come out to dance in the dances, then come out of the vineyards and snatch each man his wife from the daughters of Shiloh, and go to the land of Benjamin. And when their fathers or their brothers come to complain to us, we will say to them, Grant them graciously to us, because we did not take for each man of them his wife in battle, neither did you give them to them, else you would now be guilty. And the people of Benjamin did so, and took their wives according to their number from the dancers whom they carried off. Then they went and returned to their inheritance and rebuilt the towns and lived in them. And the people of Israel departed from there at that time, every man to his tribe and family, and they went out from there every man to his inheritance. In those days there was no king in Israel. Everyone did what was right in his own eyes. In those days Israel had no king. Everyone did as they saw fit. 
This sentence has been repeated over and over in the last few chapters, and it speaks to the corruption of Israel at the time. The eleven tribes regretted their actions, but blamed God for the outcome, and even taught the Benjamites to steal women for themselves so that the tribe could continue. None of this was in line with God's will. Praise be to God! We've finished reading the book of Judges together. Throughout the book, quite a few stories mirrored our own lives. In this generation, there are many temptations and challenges, but we are blessed to have God's word to remind us. This will help us walk more steadily in God's heart. Starting from the next chapter, we will shift the mood a bit as we enter the heartwarming book of Ruth. It isn't very long, but it sincerely brings out the love and warmth between people. As we read it together, I believe you will feel the power of love through the biography of Ruth and her mother-in-law. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for making the book of Judges become a reminder and mirror for my life, and for making me understand how important it is to have a close relationship with you. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. A chapter a day to brighten your way. See you tomorrow. Jesus loves you, and I love you too.